Traveller ASMR. Hi guys, it's me, Traveller ASMR. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do some typing and tapping and clicking sounds for the mouse. So to avoid just doing basic triggers, I thought we could do some very basic programming together literally just HTML, nothing complicated here at all and just make a very simple website not even using any style sheets or anything uh, no JavaScript, uh, literally just a HTML web page just to have some very basic triggers here so if you want to follow along with me feel free um, I've just opened up in Atom which is my text editor here, uh, A-T-O-M, Atom. And I've saved a document, index.html. And then I've just gone ahead and opened that web page here on the left-hand side. So it's not connected, obviously, to a server or anything. It's just literally from my desktop. <laughs> so the first thing we should do is define our document type. And obviously, this doc type is HTML. So this should be the very first thing of the web page. And then of course we have our very basic HTML opening and closing tags. In HTML, some, some uh, tags you don't need to have a closing, they're self-closing tags, but most tags such as HTML, body, paragraph, ones we'll see today, um, you actually have to have an opening and a closing. So you literally tell um, the computer when, you know, what to include inside. It's kind of like, brackets, you know, so whatever you have inside the parentheses works together. And if I didn't have this, it would get confused. <laughs> this is all you need to know. <laughs> uh, so the first thing we can do is inside our HTML, we have head and body sections. So first I will just go ahead and create my head opening and closing tags and my body opening and closing tags. This little backslash is what creates the closing tag. And normally, to make our HTML or, or any type of code you know, look nice, you go ahead and indent so that it's very easy to see these opening and closing tags go together. So inside our head, the first thing I will do is create a title. So for me, I will just call this page Traveler SMR. And so now you see when I refreshed on this side, that's what's showing up here. I could also add an image into the assets and have a little icon here, but this is a very simple page. It's just got my name. So in the body, that's what's going to be showing up down here. Um, I could also have kind of a title-ish thing, uh, use a h1 tag. So what title, which I guess we should have the same title as, as in the header. Uh, so travel ASMR, so now you'll see how that shows up. Travel ASMR, the biggest heading. I can do other sizes of headings. So for example, if I had H2 instead of H1, you just see it's just a different size. So H1 is obviously the biggest, and that's fine for me because that's my first header of the page. So inside the body, other types of tags we have are we have paragraph tags. So that's very simple, just P, paragraph. And this is just going to show up as text as well, but obviously smaller size text, regular text. So, um, hi, this is Traveler Smart. Welcome to my page. <laughs> and now you see how that's showing up. So, interesting to note uh, in, in text here is, for example, if I now put this on another line, so for example, this is a new line, it's not actually going to show up as a new line over here, um, just because it will be read as all together. So the computer will read this as if as if it's literally this. So I'll show you now 
if I have it like this, it's not going to show up this pretty. It's literally going to show up right like this. So if I wanted this text, this is a new line, to actually be on a new line, I could do a couple things. Um, I could very simply do a break tag, br break, and this will literally just pop it down to the next line. Or alternatively, if I didn't want to do a break tag, I could move this is a new line. I'm just going to cut this and I'll move it into its own paragraph over here. So obviously I have to add some more tags, so paragraph. And let's have this nice and spaced out. So if you see here, we have the body tag encompassing everything here in the body. Then we have our header, h1 to h1. We have paragraph one. Hi, this is Travel ASMR. Welcome to my page. And then we have paragraph two. This is a new line. So now if I save this, you'll see how this shows up. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So some other things we could do on our basic web page is uh, we could add a link. Uh, we could add some images. So let's go ahead and add a link to this page. Um, so obviously if it's if it's my Traveler ASMR page, I probably want to link to my YouTube channel page. So Adding a link, we can do A, it's the A tag in order to add a link, and then we tell it where to go. So href equals, and I'll just paste in here my YouTube channel. Okay, and then close that. Okay, but uh, on the page, it's going to have a link to this, but it doesn't. There's no text to link, so I've just got to put in here something like uh, check out my or go to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel here. So basically, this is going to show up over here as this text go to my YouTube channel, and this is going to be kind of highlighted as if it's a link. And when you click it, you would then go to the reference. So a href equals, and then you've got to make sure the link here is in quotes to my channel and then close the link. So, let's see how this is going to show up. Perfect. So go to my YouTube channel here. And if I click that, it takes me to my YouTube channel. Just that I have very slow internet, but you can see it's going the right place here. Perfect. Okay, so I have my header, I have my paragraphs, I'm explaining my page, I have a link to my pay, um, YouTube page. Um, another thing I might want is I might want to add some pictures here. So adding a pictures are also relatively easy. Here we go, IMG for image, IMG. And then again, you need to tell it, you know, what to take as a source. So SRC source equals put in gain inside parentheses, um, find some picture here. All right, so I'll just put this coding.jpg. It's just a, an image I've just saved on my desktop. And the image tag is a special one that doesn't need a closing tag. So we don't need to do kind of some kind of closing like this, not at all, not with an image tag. Uh, you can also include, um, for example, an alt reference now here in the image tag. You can customize the width, height, all kinds of things. Um, but for our purposes, let's just leave it as the original images. So if we could get this code to work properly, that would be great. Um, so I don't really like how this is spaced here, so I might actually use our break tag that we learned earlier. Just uh, one, and let's see how much it spaces out. No, so we need another one. Perfect. Just to have a little bit of space here in the page, let it breathe. So maybe I think this image is a bit too much for me. So let's uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. So maybe a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels is going to be very small, but yeah, let's make it like 200. Yeah, sure. 
case of Traveller as well. Hi, this is Traveller as well. Welcome to my page. New line. Visit my YouTube channel. And here's an image that we've added as well. Perfect. So this is a very basic page. Uh, what else could we add? Uh, we could add an ordered or an unordered list. So maybe that's up here before the image, for example, maybe here um, before our links and our images. Maybe I would want to add like a bulleted list, an unordered list, or a numbered list, which is an ordered list. So maybe I could say, these are my favorite things, um, and just kind of list different things. So that would probably be a bulleted list. So that would be an unordered list, UL. And then everything inside this unordered list is its own list item. Okay, so the entire bullets uh, area is unordered lists, and then each bullet is a list item with its own closing tag. So for example, let's just put a title in here of my favorite things. And with, before we get started with the end of the list, let's just see how that looks again. My favorite things, perfect. So I'll put that back. End of the list. End of the list. And let's put one thing in here. So one of my favorite foods is pizza. So let's just put that as the only list item. So this is going to be a bulleted list with literally one bullet. Perfect, pizza. But it wouldn't be very many favorite things if I didn't have a couple things. So let's have um, pizza, chocolate, mm. have a net, kind of chocolate anyway. Perfect. And you see how that's showing up here. Lovely. So if I wanted to have these be numbers instead of bullets, that would be an ordered list. So all I do is I change this unordered list to an ordered list. Okay. And I see one, two, three. Perfect. So great. Thanks for joining me on today's very basic <laughs> HTML web page. I hope uh, the typing and clicking sounds were fun for you. Just to recap, we set the type of our document to HTML. We made sure that the whole document was encased with HTML opening and closing tags. The document has a header with a title of Traveller SMR, and then everything else was encased in the body of this text. And that basically encompassed pretty much everything that you see here, which was our header. We had our first paragraph, our second paragraph. Then we have our favorite things as an ordered list. Then we have a link to an external site. We just separated with some break tags to give it some space here, but you don't need to do break tags. If you have cascading scale sheets or something, you can make everything beautifully laid out on the page. Uh, and we also added an image with a specific width and height. So thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.